Champions League group stage rather comfortably over two legs, although we've seen from the opening 45 minutes here, it's been anything but comfortable for the Arsenal players. I'm sure, they've had the lion's share of possessions. They've carved out a couple of opportunities as well. Slavia have stood up to the uh, defensive test that has been asked of them. Now it's up for up to uh, Arsenal to try and break them down in this second half. That being said, it'll be interesting to see just how the home side do come out in this second half. They know if they want to stay in this competition, they need to score three goals in 45 minutes at least. Few false starts for Slusova before she finally takes the throw in on this near side. Something that we didn't see too much of in the uh, first half, actually. Slavia players carrying the ball forward, breaking through the Arsenal lines. Arsenal again pressing really diligently. It'll be interesting to see just how long they're able to keep that up for this evening. Of course, a game against Reading on Sunday. And this follows that really, really uh, high-paced game at the Emirates against Chelsea. So there may be some tired legs, especially at this early stage of the season. Very, very good. That's not going to stop Beth Mead from closing down her marker. Much to the delight of Jonas Eidevelt on the touchline. Green for handball against Lamptey. He's given. Catley to Wobben Moy. No changes for Arsenal at half time. It's the same 11 players started the game. I imagine we will be seeing some rotation as the game goes on. Here's Paris. Niedemar back to Paris. Arsenal concede a free kick just on the edge of the Slavia box. Rover it is who wins it. The key to Paris on this occasion. Just a bit too late. The role reversal actually for Nikita Paris coming into this game and giving away a couple of fouls sheer number of times that she was brought down by Chelsea players on the weekend and the bench of course for Arsenal and within about 10 minutes have been fouled about five times and well there's another one against Arsenal this time Frieda Marnham Sonofska, as you can see, receiving the treatment from the club's medical team. 22-year-old Slovakian. She started her career at Sloven Bratislava in her homeland. Then spent a year in Cyprus with uh, Apollon Limassol, joining Slavia just before the pandemic. It's OK to continue. Certainly one of the more dynamic players in that midfield. One of the players who's most likely to take a risk for Slavia. She's getting the air back into her lungs. This free kick's delivered again. Angle towards this far side. It was Lamptey who was climbing. F. Mead also challenging. And also Wobben Moy. Really, really composed in defence. Eventually clearing. It's a foul on Beth Mead. Bartovikova needs to be careful. She's already on a yellow card, the Slavia captain. Not sure she was ever going to win that one. Robin White. 
and four players named in the England squad for the upcoming international break. Of course, partnering another one in Leah Williamson in defence. And Beth Mead and Nikita Paris as well. Pulled up for World Cup qualifiers against North Macedonia and Luxembourg in the coming weeks. Little back to Williamson. Stretching play a bit more to find Viviana Miedemar. Grover was there with her every step of the way. Really good defending from the fullback. And wasting no time in and Arsenal back in forward. More brave goalkeeping from Lucas Over. Diving down at Miedemar's feet once more. There's a couple of Slavia players who didn't like that one. The main one is uh, Martina Sanowska. Let's receive a yellow card for pushing Miedemar in the aftermath. Tensions running slightly high here. Referee just needs to try and calm things down a bit. It's quick thinking from Anna Patton from the throw in. Niedemar using all her strength to try and get past her marker. Artovikova, the ball was there to be won. Slavia players weren't too happy. Here's Karova. Well closed down again by Nikita Paris. Williams clearing under pressure. And well to find Patton and Arsenal might be able to get a run at things on this right-hand side. Kim Little's carried her run forward. This bounce is a bit too far away from her. A nice tweet in from uh, Josh Bunting at Bunting Football. Love how you can hear Jonas Eidevel on the touchline giving out encouragement. He doesn't stop. Neither does Lydia Williams, as we've mentioned before. What a robust challenge from Mana Iwabuchi in midfield. Slavia get the advantage. Here's Lamptey. Back to Slasova. Now with Lamptey again. Up against Steph Catley. Last time delivery from deep. Easy enough for Lotta Webb and Moy to clear. Williamson making it look so effortless to get out of defence, but fortunately gives the ball away. Was her over again, challenging for the high ball, but ahead of her, no runners. So it's an easy intervention for Lotta Webb and Moy. Arsenal can. Uh, Again, dictate the tempo of this attack. Me losing out. Here comes Slasova. Well, it was a rare opportunity for her to go one on one with Robin Moy. The officials took their time over making that decision and awarding the free kick. That's what the home fans are most disgruntled about. I'm not sure that there was too much in that one. Arsenal will take it. Here's Paris. Back to Iwabuchi. Arsenal's uh, two summer arrivals combining on the far side. Oh, good 
Good compact defending, though, from Slavia. Kozarova holding the ball up, unable to release it into her teammate's path. Janowska appreciates the effort, though. Williams. Williamson. Now Iwabuchi. If you're looking for a player to be able to turn the screw and unlock a door. Iwabuchi is your player. Been uh, operating too much in the final third tonight, though. Looking up in the deeper positions, maybe forced wide a couple of times. Savia so have uh, looked after her quite well tonight. So it's over. Inside to Krejcikova. We're over under pressure from Paris again. Doesn't stop pressing the England forward. We're over again. She's managed to pick out Krejcikova and acres of space on the left hand side. A few touches allowed Arsenal to get back. It's just a momentary lapse in comp. Concentration there, though, from Arsenal. We need to be careful. I know that they're three goals to the good over two legs. Given how hostile this crowd have been, one goal for Slavia. And the pressure will start to mount up. That being said, Arsenal firmly in control of this opening hour here in Prague. Just lacking the cherry on top so far. Patton delivers into Miedema. F. Mead still underneath that one. Somehow, the ball makes its way back to the grateful arms of Lukasova. I'm not sure that uh, Gabriela Slezova will be too grateful for this clearance. Right into her back. They've knocked the wind out of her momentarily. Well, here do come the changes. So firstly, it's Leo Velti replacing Mana Iwabuchi. her most effective performances but good for Arsenal to keep her fresh for the visit to Reading this weekend and then Katie McCabe coming on for Frieda Marnin It'll be interesting to see what Adavel does now with his formation, losing two of the uh, usual midfield three. The referee's just going to bring this one back here. Shereen Lamptey just gets a breather. Ooh, was fairly won. I think Idavel is asking the fourth official there why is play being brought back unless it's a head injury, which looked like it. Arsenal were on the attack with that momentum. Ooh, the space that they're about to run into has now been lost. 
Gunners have taken this free kick with some urgency. There's a decent ball. And it's Vivian Amidema, of course it is, who's in the right place to volley at home, break the deadlock right on the hour mark. It was expertly engineered by that Beth Mead cross. And how many times have we seen those two link up over the past couple of seasons? Slavia Prague nil, Arsenal won. Spoke about them injecting a bit of urgency into their attacking play. That's about as direct as it gets. To have the accuracy and the vision to spot that run. It's an excellent assist from Beth Mead. It's a beautifully controlled volley from Viviana Miedema. And that's her 98th goal in an Arsenal shirt. That century of strikes for Arsenal. Surely now, just around the corner. Slavia is going to be pulled out of position, you imagine. Especially as uh, on the side of out. Senses there may be more goals in this. Certainly coming to full voice in the last few moments or so, the Swede. Oh, he was loud before. Wait until you hear him straight after his team go a goal up. No time to rest on your laurels. All about building, capitalising on the advantage. And here's McCabe. Another delivery into the box. Nikita Paris is underneath this one. Odemar still inside the box. Plenty of Slavia players around her, though. Here goes Anna Patton. Still going, Anna Patton. It's not too far wide in the end. Why not have a go? Such a powerful runner, actually, Patton. She does get into these positions on her weaker side. So close to curling into the far corner. Williamson, Robin Moy, really nice to see the uh, understanding between the two Lears in the Arsenal 11 there, switching positions, Velti tried to unleash Paris on that far side. Arsenal, four goals ahead on aggregate. Given the sparsity of chances for Slavia Prague over these two legs of football, we think that enough damage has been done to secure a safe progression into the Champions League group stage. But it's not over yet. It's Miedemar down in the box once more. And Beth Mead. More good goalkeeping by Olivier Lukasova. This time it's the left boot of Beth Mead. That's an inch perfect cross. Really well read by Lukasova, who was so fast off her line. Take that one right off Miedemar's feet. Patton in towards Paris. Headed out by Bartovicova. Retrieved by Leo Velti. Okay, looks like she's almost playing a central midfield role here for Arsenal in the final half hour of this tie. Catley, of course, on the left hand side. Beth Mead. 
occupying that position as well. Nice footwork from Nikita Paris before she goes down. Foul no given. Arsenal do win the throw in. Williamson into Little. Gunners moving the ball around at will at the moment. She's up for it now. Driving straight to the heart of the Slavia defence. Another crucial interception right at the end. Arsenal still dangerous. Williamson angles it in towards Kim Little. Slavia with a panicked clearance out to this near side. Catley. Really good strength shown by Katie McKay to hold off her marker. And Paris was sniffing around. You see the change of pace from Miedemar. Once she gets going, she's so difficult to stop. But again, Lukasova. Played really well tonight, the goalkeeper. Still only 20 years old. Already such a commanding presence in the Slavia Prague goal. Robin Moy, Williamson. Another clever ball into the channels. The run from Kim Little into the box, but too far ahead of her. She'd hold it, held her run, waiting for the pass from uh, Beth Mead. Seeing Jen Beatty going through her warm up. Of course, Taya Goldie, the other outfield change that Arsenal could make. Williamson. Now Little. Belty. Takes a late one as well from Teresa Kozarova. I know that she's there. You can't fault the support of the host tonight. They're very vocal, whether they've agreed with decisions or not, or taking the knee or not. There's Mead, well recovered by her. Nice footwork by Anna Patton before she uh, gives possession back to Slavia. Katie McCabe's there. Receives a warm round of applause from the Arsenal bench as well. Nice touch to bring that cross-field pass down by Nikita Paris. Steph Catley on the overlap as ever. It's a dangerous ball in. No Arsenal player had gambled behind the bat line. Still dropped for them on the edge of the area, though. Little. Hatton just holding her run on the right-hand side. There she is now. Inside. It's a clever pass to find Viviana Miedemar again. Two goals for Viviana Miedemar. Two goals for Arsenal. And they're cruising into the Champions League group stage. Slavia Prague nil. Arsenal too.
Niedermayer just stretching off after that game, after that goal. Ardevel wants a wrapper in cotton wool, especially with the game already won at this stage. That was her 99th goal in Arsenal colours. It is, of course, just one goal away from a hat-trick on the night. So, interesting to see whether or not she stays on for the remainder of this game. So composed when she gets into those positions, Viviana Miedema. Meanwhile, there is a change. It's uh, Beattie coming on for Leah Williamson. Beattie, of course, starting alongside Williamson at the Emirates at the weekend. Now the two get to share duties tonight to make sure that the uh, match fitness is shared out among the team. Here's McCabe into Miedemar, chance for the hat-trick, chance for the 100th goal. And of course she takes it. Viviana Miedemar lifted into the air by Katie McCabe. And all of her teammates know just what a huge milestone that is for Miedema. It's her third hat-trick against Slavia Prague. A century of Arsenal strikes to her name. Given to her on a plate by Katie McKay, but she still had work to do, Miedema. Had to keep cool. It was that dummy there sent a couple of defenders the wrong way and the goalkeeper for finding the finish. Well, we're just 11 minutes. This game has gone from a stalemate on the night to an absolute whitewash, thanks to Viviana Miedema. Webber-Moy. Harris. Arsenal want more. 6-0 on aggregate. They might get another. Into the area and off the bar. It's Katie McCabe this time. That trusty left foot. And here she is again. McCabe goes for another. A bit too high in the end for Beth Mead. And the pattern's been up and down the right side all evening long. Played with the effort. Osbar's still shaking. She really caught that one. So much power on the strike. Off the frame of the goal. And out to safety by, by Tovakova. Harris. Well, she's gone forward again here. Okay, for the second time in just a minute. Able to find the back of the net. Slavia's legs are tiring. And Katie McCabe is full of running. I just heard uh, Adavel on the touchline calling for Taylor Goldie to get kitted up. So I'm sure we'll see another Arsenal Academy graduate. In fact, there she is on display very shortly. It is the end of Viviana Miedemar's evening. Arsenal's latest centurion. Surely one of the fastest to ever do it. 100 Arsenal goals in 110 Arsenal appearances. Here they are. It's Miedemar, finishing masterclass at her clinical best in front of goal. There's the dummy to send the players the wrong way. Firing into the empty net. Arsenal come forward again. Harris goes down. And it will be a penalty. A yellow card. Going to number 25, Teresa Krejcikova. Harris so difficult to stop. She gets going. 
fact, it was Cherna who brought her down. Cherner with the booking. My mistake, not pressure over. Chance again for Kim Little to make it four penalties in four appearances against Slavia Prague. Four spot kicks. She scored them all against the Czech side, including one in the first leg. And she do the same against Olivia Lukasova tonight. It's Kim Little, and it's in the roof of the net. And it's Arsenal storming into a four-goal lead on the night and a seven-goal lead on aggregate. But they've moved up through the gears, the Gunners. And there's no stopping a penalty when it's taken like that. Right into the top corner from Kim Little. Taken with all of the confidence of a player who's netted 146 times before. So here are two changes then for Slavia Prague, the latest of which, Kristina Brzykova. Saw her come on in the uh, final stages of the first leg. Very confident youngster, full of running. Desperate to uh, get the ball down and to dribble right at the Arsenal back line. So I'm expecting we'll see plenty from her in the future. I'm not sure she'll be able to impact the Knights game in any great way. Here's Mead. Another delivery. Cape shaping up for a volley at the far post. Help behind by Slazova. It's a back to the walls job now for Slavia Prague. They dealt really well with the pressure in the first half, but as soon as that first goal went in from Viviana Miedemar, the gates opened. They might not have shut just yet. Okay, delivers Heather from Anna Patton. Doesn't trouble Lucas over. Again, one back by Nikita Paris. Here's BC. Pumping that pass into Casey McKay. Goldie. I think her first few touches since coming on. She's seeing lots of Wubben Moy moving into a holding midfield position now to accommodate the latest Arsenal Academy graduate onto the pitch. I suppose that's the benefit that Jonas Eidevel has. So many of his players can play in multiple positions. So fluid that they are in their system. Rover with the throw-in. BT out to Katie McKay. Is Patton. Now Beth Mead beating her marker and winning a corner on the far side. Trying 
First in swinging corner for Katie McCabe since joining the action. Plenty to aim for inside the area. Jambiti's there at the near post. Here from just inside the six yard box. Healthy. Now to Steph Catley. And a pattern popping up on the left hand side now. Deep cross. I don't know if it was intended for the far side where Katie McCabe was loitering. Turner under pressure from McCabe, who's done well to win that back. Slavia struggling to get out. You need Kozarova to hold up the ball as she has done there. Dealt with by Catley. Now Velti to Paris. Switching sides with Beth Mead now. Just under 10 minutes to go. Before it is finally confirmed that Arsenal are in the Champions League group stages once again. In a, an 11 minute spell in the second half, which has done the damage. Of course, Viana Miedemar's hat trick, the 100th goal in Arsenal colours. Love to get your reaction to that using the hashtag AWFC. Firstly, who's been your star performer? I think I can guess. And secondly, just how. How much can Miedemar still impress you? Even 100 goals later, still amazing to see her at her best. Just turn the switch. Completely. Turn the momentum of a tie with a few strikes. Gambiti keeps it in on this near side. Delcy in support. Goldie, rare opportunity for her to get forward as well. A few passes between her and Anna Patton. Spread out wide to Keita Paris. Kim Little carried on her run. She was offside by the time Paris played the pass. Rebecca Dickinson, really impressed with Anna today. Thought she's had a great game, probably deserves a goal as well. Come close, didn't she? Cutting in from the right hand side, firing inches wide. She's been brilliant in that right back role. Put forward excellently. That hasn't shirked her defensive duties either. Rachel Marie. There's death taxes and Kim Little scoring a penalty. Struggling to remember actually the last time Little missed from the penalty spot. She really is such a specialist in those situations. And as uh, Noma the Bandler says, Captain Little, steady as ever. Catley back to Williams. Under a bit of pressure from a Slavia press here. Seen too much of that. Interesting that we're getting it with five minutes to go. Playing for pride a bit, the home side in front of their very loud support.
delivery swung in, headed away by Arsenal. Now Beth Mee can carry it into the Slavia half. She's got Nikita Paris with her. Opportunity for Arsenal on the break. Rarely have Slavia been this much uh, well, this open. Covered well though the Czech side. A few nominations for uh, the player of the match. Liam says uh, Miedemar deservedly steals the headlines. But shout outs to Anna Patton, Beth Mead and Steph Catley who have been great. Rob at Swindon Guna points out Arsenal's GOATs love playing in Prague. Thierry Henry broke Arsenal's goal scoring record against Sparta. Viviana Miedemar scored her 100th Arsenal women's goal against Slavia tonight. Club legends. Another tweet from Catherine. I think all of the attacking players are the players of the match for me today. Little, Mead, Paris, even players like Lotte Webb and Moy have all played a part in the 4 0 lead and allowing Viv to hit the century. Lotter, of course, in a, def a defensive role tonight, but she's won all of her individual battles. tweet here saying there can only be one answer welcome to the 100 club Viviana Miedemar up the Arsenal everyone has been immense tonight Anna Patton a lot of women more great and Captain Little is just running the midfield as well imagine being able to run the midfield for the majority of the game when you've got Mana Iwabuchi and Frieda Marnum alongside you and Arsenal make some changes you lose Marnum and Iwabuchi and on come Leah Velti and Katie McCabe as well. So, Tim Little to stand out among all those top performers. Says a lot about her display tonight. Hey, Goldie wins a free kick just inside the Arsenal half. Belty twists away from one for finding Patton out on the right hand side. Ball has gone out. Patton thinks quickly to Mead. A nice flicked attempt. Gurner had tracked back though to win possession. But Arsenal will have it back once more. Patton. Again encouraged to go forward on the right. All trickles behind for a goal kick. Plenty of big sides in the Champions League group stage draw. Of course, Pot, uh, Pot 1, Barcelona, PSG, Bayern Munich, Chelsea. Pot 2's got Leon Wolfsburg. It will have Arsenal in there after winning this game. Likes of Twente or Benfica, Frieda Blick, Osijek, Hoffenheim, Real Madrid, of course after uh, knocking out Manchester City. And then, John Montemuro's Juventus. We're playing against uh, Lasnia tonight. Have the opportunity to get, in, get themselves into pot three or pot four. Meanwhile, a rare surge forward from Slavia. Williamson went all the way with that one, or Williams, I should say. Followed that one all the way in the air. Kova actually is putting her under some pressure. The Australian did just enough to hold on to that one. Mead timed their run to perfection there to stay on side. Just under a minute to go in Prague. It's been a professional performance from Arsenal. They didn't rush it though. They were patient. Made sure that when they're on top, 
He really, really made it count. Always helps, of course, having a player like Viviana Miedema. Good play by Patton. Now Wibben Moy into the referee. He will award a free kick to Arsenal there. One minute, looks like, being added on. BT. Headed out by Slasova. And he will just eat into an extra few seconds, taking this throw in as we count down to the full-time whistle. See Arsenal pressing right until the very end. And there it is, Arsenal cruise into the Women's Champions League group stage. It wasn't as easy as the scoreline suggests on the night, certainly the aggregate scoreline as well. Comfortable 4-0 victory. Actually, Slavia made Arsenal work. Defended resolutely the uh, Czech side as soon as Arsenal managed to find a way through. They really did the damage. Firstly, it was Viviana Miedema from a Beth Mead cross to make it 1-0 or 4-0 on aggregate before Miedema struck again, following good work from Anna Patton. And then Miedema picked up her 100th Arsenal goal and her hat-trick, taking home the match, day, uh, the match ball all the way back to North London, following good work from, uh, from Katie McCabe on the left-hand side. Well, Nikita Paris went down in the penalty area. And Kim Little once again stepped up to make it four goals to nil and put Arsenal into Monday's Champions League group stage draw. Finishes here, Slavia Prague nil, Arsenal four.